Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that have Asperger's and autism as well as anybody in the community and finally I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about like I'm at the 2016 Dragon Con show right now and this is the 30th anniversary but before I get into more detail what I'm going to do is mention two things so in order to cross promote and promote Dragon Con as a whole I'm going to ask you viewers to click up here in the upper right hand corner this is a video that was put on four years ago called Last Dragon Con, which is a parody of Katy Perry's Last Friday Night, and I like to play it over and over and over again. And it's featured during Dragon Con 2012, and instead of uh, shouting TJIF, uh, one of the things that they say in there is, so say we all, so say we all. So please be sure to check that out, because it's uh, super funny. And a second thing I would like you guys to do is check out my written blogs on wordpress.com and you can find those under hello world 240.wordpress.com. That's hello world 240.wordpress.com. And what I would like to do now is mention again that I'm at Dragon Con 2016 and this is the 30th anniversary and this means that the first Dragon Con occurred in 1987. Some people were walking by as I was trying to record a little bit earlier and they corrected me and said that the first Dragon Con occurred in 1987, not 1986. But to me, this is uh, 2006, so I would have thought 1986. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. So, anyway, I wanted to, got to let you guys know what's up. So first and foremost, I am not getting my pass today and I'm not going to be staying in any hotel rooms unless I run into somebody that I know that's generous enough to let me sleep on their floor if they have a bed I can sleep in or share. But I don't think that's going to happen. And then two, I'm going to be catching Uber everywhere. Um, in the meantime, I've just been walking around and so far I've seen a couple of Doctor Whos. I saw Captain Jack Sparrow, which really brings back some memories. And I also just walked around and saw that they changed some things this year. So this year, all of the major gaming will not be in the Hilton. All the gaming will be in Atlanta Mart. And uh, I probably will be over there this year trying uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I play D&D &D anyway now because I play online on Google Hangouts with a group of friends. and. Believe me, the guy that runs the group that thinks that he's on the spectrum, and I would be the one to agree with that. So, I probably will spend part of my time playing in the Atlanta Mart, and I also wanted to let you know that, first of all, haters are going to hate, but basically, I happened to run into three very yeah, finely dressed, quote, normal women that kind of thought that they were more important, they're walking around in their high heels and acting like they were more important and making fun of the whole Dragon Con experience and laughing at them and being just completely ignorant. So being who I am, I'm quite outspoken and I don't take that kind of crap. I mean, most people would tell me to quote, ignore it, but some people need to hear the truth. So I walked right by those women and I said to them, yeah. Yeah, those people that make those costumes that ha have like hues that are probably higher than yours, especially yeah, since you guys are three ignorant people and your laughing is really annoying, get a life. And then I just walked away. However, um, I'm not going to let it get to me because again, haters are going to hate and not everybody is going to understand because some people have really small minds and Mind you, they live in their own little world. I mean, they say that somebody with Asperger's live in their own little world. But people like that, I'm sure, were the popular kids in high school. And they probably picked on the nerds and all the intelligent people that were inventing things that made them happy. And 
I'm at the level of somebody that would probably do something creative and make someone like that happy. So, I'm out of time. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please be sure to state below and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.